Hi guys and welcome back to part two of looking at every single Premier League club and seeing who I think they should sign this uh, January transfer window. We're starting off part two with Liverpool. Now of course they've had their centre-back crisis. Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez both out for the rest of the season. Joel Matip of course is also um, out for a wee while. So is Reese Williams. He has had a few injuries. So Liverpool's main priority should be signing a new centre back. They've been linked with Ben White this month, but I don't think Ben White is the right option. I've gone with Schalke and Turkey Wonder Kid, Turkish Wonder Kid, Ozan Kabak. Of course, Schalke have been doing very bad this season, but Kabak has is still a quality young centre back. He can at least fill in, maybe even on a short term loan until the end of the season. Fill in that injury crisis, fill in Van Dijk, fill in Gomez, maybe even <clears throat> stay longer and compete with Gomez and Matip for that starting centre-back position. Now moving on to Manchester City and their main priority has to be a striker. I mean, they've had their striker problems this season. Aguero's been out a lot and he's most likely going to be leaving this summer. And Gabriel Jesus has had his own injury problems. So I've gone with a massive sign in here, Erling Braut Haaland. He wants to leave this summer. This might be a summer move, but yeah, nonetheless, it should happen. Haaland, of course, his dad played for Manchester City. And with Haaland adding his uh, firepower along with players like Mares, De Bruyne, I think City can definitely win a lot of trophies. Now moving on to my team, Manchester United. Now, if we're going to win the Premier League, we need a centre-back. This m most likely won't happen. It's the most obvious one on the list, Diut Upamecano. We've been linked with him for months and months on end. And um, he's a quality centre-back. I've seen him play this season. He's been absolutely amazing in the Bundesliga and Champions League. Um, minus that 5-0 thumping at Old Trafford. Uh, <clears throat> Harry Maguire is doing decent with Eric Bailly. But Bailly is unreliable. He's had his own injury problems. Maguire and Lindelof isn't the best. Um, link up at the back so Upi Meccano would be good with either Bay or Maguire alongside him. Now moving on to Newcastle United and they've had they've been in horrible form lately. They've lost haven't won their past eight matches and they've just lost to Sheffield United who have only has who had only their first win all season. And I heard in Sky Sports news uh, yesterday that Mike Ashley has given Steve Bruce no money to work with, so they're going to have to rely on loan deals. And a new left back will be needed, and Brandon Williams is the right option here. He's already been outplayed at Manchester United by Luke Shaw and Alex Tellez, and he needs to get loads of experience game time at a lower down club. He probably needs him, so Newcastle is the right club for Brandon Williams, and it's the right move for his career. Now moving on to Sheffield United and what they need this season is a striker. They need goals. They've really been struggling. They've only scored nine goals all season. Only one win and two draws in the Premier League. And what better than Odson Edward of Celtic. He's been amazing for Celtic. Scoring around 20 goals, even 30 sometimes every season up in Scotland. Can he do good in the Premier League? I think he can. I think he'll prove to be a prolific goal scorer for Chris Wilder's side if he does make the move. And this would be right for Edward's career too. Although I don't want to see him leave Celtic. It would be right for his career to get a bit of Premier League experience and right for Sheffield United to get a lot more goals. In. Now moving on to Southampton and honestly I would struggle to find anywhere that needs improvement from Southampton. Their first starting eleven is on fire. Even their bench is great. But I think they need a new young backup fullback and I have gone with PSV uh, youngster Jordan Teze. Um, I don't know much about this kid. I saw, <clears throat> when I was doing my research for him, he came up and I thought, I think he's a decent player. He's meant to be decent. He can also play as a centre-back low in case Vestergaard or Bednarek gets injured. I think Teze would do well with Southampton. Now moving on to Tottenham Hotspurs and well, they need a new centre-back, someone to compete with Alder Bayerald and uh, Davinson, Sanche Davinson Sanchez sorry, this season. And <clears throat> I was going to go with Edmund Tapsoba, I've mentioned him on this channel before, but I've decided to go for a man whose contract is running out 
he could sign a new contract, but um, <clears throat> most likely not. Sergio Ramos. He's been he's been managed by Jose Mourinho before. People have been saying he's too old for the Premier League, 35 years old. I think he can fill in for two years at Tottenham, give uh, Alderweireld and Sanchez a bit of competition to see who can start along that back line. They've got Tanganga though, but he's not really, he can really compete with Alderweireld or Sanchez, can he? So Sergio Ramos could really help Spurs the push for the title if they're still on a title charge. Now moving on to West Brom, and Sam Allardyce has said a lot of business he hopes will go through this month at West Brom. And he said the main priority is a striker. Now here's a striker who has been outplayed at Burnley by Chris Wood and Joe Rodriguez. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about by now. Ashley Barnes. Um, he's really been struggling to get into the team. He's been doing decent, I mean. But Chris Wood and Joe Rodriguez have been on another level for... Um, Burnley. So Ashley Barnes, he needs to be a starter and I think he should go to the Baggies, West Brom. So now West Ham, I think they also need a striker. They are unreliable with strikers. Uh, Haller's left and Mikel Antonio has got his injury problems and Jared Bowen, well he doesn't really play as a striker, more plays on the wing. So I could have went with Bulaya Dia from Stade, Stade de Reims. He's most likely going to happen this month. But I've gone with someone outside the box, Wolfsburg's Ruth Weghorst, the Dutch um, striker. He's been tearing the Bundesliga up lately. The next best does to Wolfsburg, and um, he's been he's already scored like thirteen goals or something this season in the hunt from the Golden Boot alongside players like Kramerich, Lewandowski, and Holland. And now finally moving on to Wolves, and now I think they need a new striker. You know, they've got Patrick Catrona, he could actually go back out and loan. They've got Pedro Neto and they've got Fabio Silva, two youngsters, but they can't be the reliable. Them three strikers can't be the reliability. They're too young um, <clears throat> right now in their careers. So this one is another obvious one. Diego Costa, of course, he's a free agent now. His contract was terminated at the end of December from Atletico Madrid. He's looking for a new club. A lot better to go to Wolves. So guys, that is the end of the... Um, <clears throat> one Premier League, one pre player, every Premier League club should sign Saga. I will have a new two-part series coming up tomorrow. And um, as always, have a good day and <clears throat> like and subscribe and tune in again tomorrow.